postal system, package-based offenses are considered especially heinous. In San Diego City, the dedicated detectives who investigate these vicious felonies are members of an elite squad, known as the Special Boxes Unit. These are their stories. Okie dokie. What do we have here today? Well, looks like we got another open and shut case here. Typical careless mailman, if you ask me. Well, that is a true shame to see, but uh, let's go ask some questions. Oh, hey, you're the mailman for uh, this zip code, right? Yeah, how can I help you? Do you mind if we ask you a few questions? I just want to know if uh, this package looks familiar to you. Recognize it at all? Oh my, that looks like a pretty beat up box. Need to be the guy that delivered that one. Well, this package was actually on your route. We have reason to believe that you're involved with it. Hey, I deliver hundreds of packages a day. I can't be responsible for every single one. Unfortunately for you, we have you on a ring camera delivering the package broken like that. Well, then it must have been at the facility because I can't keep track of all of them. I gotta get back to delivering these letters, so you got the wrong guy. We're not done with our investigation, but you're not gonna get away with this. Thanks for doing this on such short notice, Doc. We really just need to get to the bottom of this and close this case. Well, that's interesting. What's that? Here, take a look at this. Well, I'll be damned. I think we have some more questions to ask to close this up. Hi, ma'am. Sorry to bother you, but would you mind just walking us through your statement one last time so we can get this all wrapped up? I appreciate you making the time for us. How can I help you? Now, would you just walk us through your statement one last time? I want to make sure we didn't miss any of the details. Well, when I got the order, I did my normal shipping. I wrapped everything up very carefully and shipped it off in hopes that it would be well protected with the postal service. All right, so you had insurance on the package, right? Yes, of course. I insure all of my packages that are over $50. And you did everything within your power to make sure that it would be handled delicately and protected during shipping, right? Yes, like I said, it's such a shame that packages get mishandled in the mail service all the time. You know, there is just one thing that doesn't make sense though, and that's why there wasn't any bubble wrap in the box. Oh, there wasn't any bubble wrap in there. I don't understand how that could be. It must have gotten caught in some of the mechanisms during processing and fallen out. The thing is, the box was sealed shut. There's no way bubble wrap could have fallen out. So it had to have not been there in the first place, meaning you didn't put it there. I'm sorry, what are you implying here? I think you know what I mean, ma'am. I would never. That's ridiculous. I am a credited reseller. I will not have you slandering my name for this. Insurance fraud is a crime. And you're coming downtown. Let's go. All right, order, order. I want order in my court. Miss, please step up to the stand. Hello. All right, now explain to the jury your side. Um, I was hoping my mom ship packages. And did you ever tell your mom you didn't put bubble wrap in there? Um, she taught me to use bubble wrap and I think I forgot this one time. And I didn't tell her because I didn't want to get in trouble. I thought she would be mad at me, so I didn't say anything. All right, that's enough for me today. Court dismissed. Ruling for the plaintiff is not guilty. Thank you, Your Honor. Yeah, I just got out of court. Didn't go our way. I just don't get it. Blaming it on the kid? I don't buy it. I think there's more. Did those text message subpoenas come in yet? All right, I'm gonna come take a look at those. I think that's the missing piece here. You're not gonna believe this one. Look at this. What's this? Son of a gun. I knew something was missing. Good work, detective. One day, you'll be up here with me. Now let's go bust a fraud. Ma'am? What are you doing here? Ma'am, I'm gonna have to ask you to put the packing tape down. Do you know what this is? It's a transcript from a YouTube Live where you're telling your daughter to not put bubble wrap in the package. Somehow I just knew that rotten little teen was gonna rat me out. That just goes to show you, you can't trust child labor anymore these days. It's the end of the line for you. 
You're coming with me. We were gonna get away with it. Just goes to show you, crime doesn't pay, but eBay does.